I occasionally get these emails, these texts, and um, it'll be so random. Oh, I guess I didn't know it was pajama day yesterday on the show. And then it'll go uh, swerving while messaging you David Spade. So I always think that David Spade has other things to do. You know, star rules of engagement. He's in movies, comedian, hot girls. But he still finds time. And he calls himself sort of a fan of the show, which is sort of a kick in the face. But uh, he joins us now. David Spade, kind enough to uh, wake up early to join us. Hi, David. Collect call from David Spade? Yeah, I'll accept. Okay. Hey, Dan, listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dan... I'm a monster sort of fan. I, um, you know, I try to catch it when I'm heading over to MTV to watch Teen Mom. By the way, all kidding aside, Teen Mom had some drama this week. Whoa! What happened? But no, that's not why I'm calling. Uh, it's just she's mixed up with the bad boy, and I think we've learned from Whitney that's not the way to go. But here's what's going on. I was watching yesterday, yeah. and the guy had the red... Oh, Paulie. Jam. Yeah, and a uh, super nice guy. Seems like it on TV. And uh, But I was worried that he just wore that. So I didn't know it was pajama day because I only watched for six minutes at a clip. So I was watching it, and I go, Dan, Dan, talk to these dudes. But uh, I figured out what happened. So it was my fault. They're doing a great job. I don't know exactly what everyone does there. I know one guy pushes some buttons. That's Satan. Uh, I know one guy moves a mouse around on his computer. That's McLovin. And, okay, one guy kind of stares off into space. <laughs> That's Fritzy. And one guy is texting. <laughs> but <laughs> overall, it, it, things are getting done. It doesn't matter how they get done. Um, the show it runs like a top. Well, and I love. I mean, you're you're running rules of engagement, so yeah. you know what it's like to work with an ensemble. <laughs> yes, uh, and. I know what it's like. Uh, actually, I'm not the boss, though, so I have to go around and act like the boss. But I am a, sort of, uh, a sports guy. As you know, I did fantasy football this year for the first time. Bit of a disaster. But, but let's say you do you go to Laker games. Well, I do, but I'm, I'm in sort of that fake fan category where I grew up in Arizona, so I watch the sun. So I come to L.A., and then everyone goes, are you Suns? But you live in L.A. now, so I don't know. Because, you know, I was into the Suns, and I still like them, but once I heard Connie Hawkins laugh, <laughs> it just started to crumble for me. And I, and then I, and now I don't know anybody. I knew the Suns a little bit when it was Barkley, and it was those guys. You know Steve that, Nash? I see Nash sometimes. I know, I know him a little bit, and I think he's great. You were talking about him yesterday. Yes, I think... He's, uh, it's hard for him to hold that place together. I mean, every year, if he doesn't have a great team, he's like, I got to play a whole year again, like, and not win for sure. That's, that's a tough one. But it's if like you're being, calling to get tickets. <laughs> yes. Okay. But you don't, you have an assistant who calls? Um, yeah, somebody. Okay. What do they say if they want tickets? Good, good seats for a Laker game. How's that oh. call go? Okay. I'll, good, I'll answer the good. phone. Okay. <laughs> Hello, okay. Lakers. Hey, um, I'm calling. Uh, I hope no one's nearby. This is a pretty major call. I'm calling for David Spade. Silence on the other end. Uh, <laughs> Joe Dirt. Um, <laughs> just shoot me. <laughs> Capital One commercials. Um, general selling out. Um, grown ups. Tommy Boy. They go, oh, Tommy Boy. And so they go. Chris Farley or the other guy? And they go, um, the other guy. Go, oh, okay. <laughs> and they go, the other guy, he was good, too. Yeah, he and was funny. So <laughs> I, did, I, I said some jokes in there. So they, here's the real trick, Dan, is that my agency, God love them, the one thing they've done right in my career is they have four floor seats oh. next to Kobe. And so if you get those, like the week grown-ups open, all four of us went, and I think you remember that time I was with Chris Rock and he was blabbing away and Kobe was ignoring him. <laughs> you remember that shot? Well, do you bring women? Man. What? That story, that story wasn't totally over. Oh, okay. Um, I thought. <laughs> I hope I get a few chuckles out of McLovin. I don't think my, uh, I think he turned my sound down a little bit to shut me up. Okay. But, but uh, I do, I don't bring women there because unless it's uh, 
for sure something serious, it's a little show off be like, babe, that's not a first date. Babe, let's get on national TV, babe. Mm. Wear a short skirt. What was it's you? Tough. Um, oh, are you done with that story? Yeah, that kind of okay. wasn't long, uh, but thank you. Uh, David Spade joining us. Favorite song <laughs> you sang with Chris Farley in Tommy Boy? <laughs> well, I, I, ah, uh, well, that one uh, end of the world as we know it because we did that. I and the only good thing I did is I added end of the world and added uh, come on Eileen after it was over because we needed sort of inexpensive songs that were kind of fun. And Chris and I didn't know the words anyway, so we got the words and then we sang them on every take. We still didn't get them. That song moves very fast. Uh, I like that. <laughs> They gave us a Mexican one, and they put on cue cards so we could guess it. Eris two, we didn't really know that one. Mm. Um, we didn't know much. Let's be honest, Dan. It was it was uh, the time back then. We were young. We were sort of drunk, but the movie was fun. Uh, you know what? Call in maybe earlier next time, and I do appreciate. Dan, we're not out of time. I have yeah. thirty five more stories. No, no. I, I, you know what? <laughs> Save it. Save it for the rest of our lives, David. Okay. All right, listen, I just know I'm glad I'm on one of those posters in that room. It makes me happy. So I watch the show, and I feel like, and we didn't even get to Sports Illustrated. Next time we're going to talk about that because it came out, and you were talking about it yesterday, so I went and got it. Okay. Okay? All right, that's David Spade, Rules of Engagement on CBS Thursday night, and some great stories still to come.